Welcome back to more of the Alexis K. Tyler Vagina Power Show. I know many of you are so happy because this is Friday, the end of the week, the last day of your work week. So you get to wind down, kick back, probably go out and party Friday night. I wanted to do this show today on mother-daughter drama because what I realize is there is a deep need, especially in our community, women of color, and the way we were raised, we have a lot of dysfunction in our family and a lot of pain and damage as a result of having this inflicted by our mothers. And a lot of women are walking around looking beautiful on the outside, having lots of money and degrees and cars and clothes and jewelry and taking exquisite trips, maybe even having husbands or wonderful lovers in their lives and beautiful children, but they are still hiding the pain of having a lot of drama and confrontations with their mother. There are even some women that I know of, and I've experienced this personally in my family, of having their mothers curse them out, actually jump on them, physically attack them, scratch them, punch them, take their clothes, even sleep with their boyfriends or try to compete with them to get their boyfriends, go around talking about their daughters behind their backs, telling them her men what a whore she is, she can't be trusted, you ain't her baby daddy, ain't no tell her how many men she's sleeping with, she's just trying to put this baby on you, you know, having them to humiliate them to their face, even humiliating their daughters in front of their daughter's friends, standing in front of the mother, standing in front of her own personal friends and the family and even the church, and insulting and physically assaulting and degrading their own daughters. Many of our women are walking around carrying this pain of their mothers being backstabbers, actually talking about them to their girlfriends and then smiling in their daughter's faces and telling the girlfriends and telling the boyfriends and telling the husbands, don't tell her what I said, creating a lot of lies and havoc and drama in the daughter's life. And I've been getting a lot of these emails and these questions, especially I realize what a painful issue it is, especially with women of color in the black community. This is something that we never talk about, or we really don't talk about it as much as we should, and we have not addressed this from a place of really having group counseling and group healing, just conversing with each other about our mother-daughter pain. We have been holding this stuff and struggling in silence with it. And that's why I want us to start addressing this this pain, addressing this issue that hurts us so very bad because you know what? It's going to bust your heart chakra. It's going to bust your fourth chakra because your fourth chakra is your heart chakra. And many of us are walking around here heartbroken and stressed out. I don't think you really realize what stress does to your body, especially when you come from a very deep, spiritual and very rich place full of melanin. Women of color, we really don't understand and understand how our architecture is designed. Yes, we are actually walking, talking, spiritual, sexual architecture, intellectually, emotionally, sexually. We're taught to be religious, but we're not taught to be spiritual. And as a result of us not having this spiritual teaching and education and awareness that many of us should have. A lot of us are getting into waking up, but a lot of us are not. And many of us are in a lot of pain spiritually because we are actually having to be forced. We don't know what it is. We're being forced out of the cocoon because we're having a lot of mental and emotional breakdowns. We think we're okay because of the money, the cars, the clothes, and the things. We have suppressed that pain, and we don't want to deal with that mother-daughter drama. But some days you're around your mother, or some days you're by yourself, and all of a sudden a painful thought will come up when you were six years old or when you were nine years old, when you were, were raped or molested by your stepfather or your father or a cousin or somebody in the family, you told your mother your mother didn't do anything about it and you thought you got over that because you were 25 and 35 years old and now it's coming up again. And then it subsides, you drink it away, you take a, a psychiatric antidepressant 
to numb it down so you can erase it, and then it keeps coming back and then going down. So we have all these tidal waves and thunderstorms and tsunamis moving through us because that is the higher spiritual part of ourselves, not the religious part of us that's telling us to go to church and, and saying hallelujah and Jesus is going to fix it, but the spiritual part that is creating an upheaval in that false foundation that has given you the principles that you think you need to stand on that are shaky. And when our spirit brings those things up, that part of us we're told to ignore, that is letting you know that it is time for you to come into 360 degrees of vagina power, but you can't come into the power until you move through the pain. And that is the part of the spiritual architecture that we have not been taught about. We do not know what an amazing God and goddess that has created us so wonderfully and so beautifully and so, oh, my God, we're so exquisite and we are so infinite. We are not finite beings. And it's time for us to become aware of the spiritual architecture of the infinite being that lies within the core energetics of our Cells, the very pulsation of your heartbeat is locked into your spiritual anatomy, not your religious anatomy. So you can't go get this in no church. You can't go and get this in, I don't know where else y'all are going, but if y'all getting this there, y'all need to call me and let me know because I know I don't know where to find this here. And I didn't get it other than going into the spiritual anatomy and locking into your own cosmic mind of your DNA and your cell memory to tell you about how beautifully and wonderfully you are made in your spiritual anatomy. Now, when we deal with spiritual anatomy, we need to deal with our chakras and our auric fields. Now, for many of us that don't know that, because I know a lot of us women of color got to play catch up because we were not introduced to the chakras and the auric field. And all of the energy centers that move throughout your body and move throughout your central nervous system. Now, chakra, they say, is an Indian word, but if you really look deeper, you will see that martial arts and spirituality and dealing with metaphysics comes from Egypt or comes from Kemet. These were universal principles that our ancestors practiced practiced in Egypt, which is also in Africa. Many historians will falsely try to separate Egypt from Africa or say that Africa has European origins. Well, I'm here to tell you you need to go research and do your history again. There were Europeans that came into Africa and interbred with Egyptians, but the original Egyptians were black folks, the Kemet, the Kemetians. So don't let nobody lie to you and tell you that Egypt was founded and created, and all these scientific and mathematical principles were made up by Europeans. No, they were made up by so-called Negro black folks. Kim it, Kim means land of the black. So there was black folks over there, and this was our teaching and our knowledge. So it's very important for you to wake up to the knowledge of your soul and go back and study Kemetian science because it will introduce you to your divine, sacred, spiritual architecture. Now, I'm taking you there. You might not get the connection, how that ties into mother-daughter drama, but it's going to be real clear to you if you just really listen, bear with me and listen to me, because, see, to deal with your mother-daughter drama, to deal with your issues around your mother, since you came out of the core of your mother's being, and you are actually an extension of your mother. So although you might not look exactly like her, you came out of her cosmic womb. She duplicated you from her DNA and RNA pool. And your father, of course, co-created in the experience to bring you here because he donated the sperm and his energetic field and all of the genetic information that comes from him. But many times us dealing with mothers, although we have half of us that is masculine and we have a spiritual bond with our fathers, we have a stronger bond with our mothers and we have a lot of karmic debt to deal with with our mothers. And especially if we've had a negative relationship with our mothers, because um, she is the core. We came out of her 
rivers of living waters. We came out of her pool of, of consciousness.